But the fourth principle we're going to find in verse 12. So let me bring you over to verse 12, uh, which is a powerful scripture. It says, and he said, O Lord God of my master, Abraham. He says, I pray thee, <laughs> O Lord, I pray thee, listen to that, I pray thee, send me good speed this day and show kindness unto my master, Abraham. Verse 13, behold, I stand here by the well of water and the daughters of the men of the city come out to draw water. Verse 14, and let it come to pass that the damsel or the woman to whom I shall say, let let down thy pitcher, I pray thee that I may drink. And she shall say, drink, and I will give thy camels drink also. Let the same be she, now watch this guys, that thou, he's talking to God, that thou has appointed. Oh, because you know, people say, oh God, God don't, God don't appoint. Look at that, that thou has appointed for thy servant Isaac, and thereby shall I know that thou has showed kindness to my master. I hope y'all saw that. He says appointed. So principle, the, the next principle is that you got to involve God in your selection. Because <laughs> a lot of people is out there just snatching grabbing people and this and they completely forget that one of the most life changing scriptures that comes from Proverbs chapter three that says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. That's what this scripture is saying. Acknowledge him. That servant said, listen, okay, Lord, I'm about to go. I'm about to go towards this. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm out. To, I'm about to go on this mission trip. I'm about to go to this conference. I'm about to go to this church service. I'm about to go to this revival. <sighs> Lord, I'm just going to ask you, you know who's best for me. Lord, I'm asking you that you would direct me to the right person in the right time. Now, many of you, I don't know if you're like me. And I was telling my, telling the church this last week when um, at, at, at service, I got humble enough. You know, and maybe you can, maybe you will agree, but I got humbled enough and I had to admit that when I began to make my selections, when I used to make my selections, I always picked the ones that was just something was off, meaning I did not know how to pick them. <laughs> the ones I would pick, they would go to church, but then they'll stab you at night. The one I would pick would, would, would go to church and then they'll curse you out as soon as they walk up the building. The ones I would pick would be the ones that would not have any character and terror. And I'm like, what is wrong? Is this something wrong? Well, then I started realizing I don't know how to pick them. Now I know you think you know how to pick them. I know you think so, but just look at, look at your track record and tell me how is that working? <laughs> So I got humble enough to say, Lord, I don't know how to pick them. I keep, I keep picking the crazy ones. I keep picking the ones that just not. Yeah, I'm picking them wrong. So I went to prayer, y'all. And I said, Lord, I am at this stage in my life. I said, I need I need this woman to drop out of uh, out of heaven with a big sign on her chest saying, Nathan Salter, I'm your wife. That's how I said I need this because I'm getting tired of picking picking uh, the ones that, uh, that the, the, the you know, I, I'm tired of the drama. <laughs> and I think you guys are tired too, because it's like you, we picking these and we're picking these, but we're not acknowledging him. We're not involving him. We're not applying Proverbs chapter three in our dating process. So you have a lot of single people right now. They're frustrated because they're trying to date apart from the matchmaker. They're trying to do this thing. They're trying to actually tell God, I don't need you in this process. I know what I want. And then they get these people. And then they realize that these people were just a disguise to actually pull them out of their purpose. And I got tired of that. I said, man, it, you know, everybody who go to church is not believers. Everybody who say hallelujah is not believers. The devil can say hallelujah. Uh, demons can say hallelujah. The, the demons go to church and devils go to church. So what I'm saying is that you got to have something greater than the physical that can let you understand that. Wait a minute, Lord, is this person God sent? So I need to involve you, God, because you know the hearts and motives of men. 
So I got to trust you. I got to put my trust in you in this. I need you to help me to get involved in this election process because I don't want to destroy. I'd rather stay single and happy than to be married and miserable. All right. So that's principle number four. Yeah, I hope you, I hope you guys are liking this. 